Hey, what is up guys? Hope y'all are doing good. Today we're making more of a healthy dish. This is gonna be a, a lower calorie, high protein, uh, oatmeal, Hawaiian style pancake. I know it's a kind of a mouthful. Doing some tropical ingredients today. We got some pineapple and we got some uh, shredded coconut, some unsweetened shredded coconut to really give it kind of that Hawaiian feel. So I would like to make this more tropical using some like guava or lily koi. But you know, this is canned pineapple and you know, shredded coconut. You can kind of get that anywhere for people that live on the mainland. So, you know, anybody can kind of make this. So this is gonna be a super filling recipe because we got all this oats, it's a lot of fiber and some uh, fresh fruits, got some fiber in there too. And then we got some protein powder. This is uh, just unflavored whey protein. You can kind of use whatever protein, doesn't really matter. I'm using about uh, half a scoop here or two tablespoons of protein powder. All right, so to start off, we're just gonna throw everything into the blender and blend it up. So that's uh, banana, some oats. Right here I got half a cup of egg whites, some shredded coconut, vanilla extract, protein powder, this is some baking powder, just a pinch of salt, half of this, so that's about two ounces of applesauce, unsweetened applesauce. Then we're gonna do three slices of pineapple. So we're just gonna blend this up and our batter should be done. So I'm just gonna transfer the batter into a bowl and I'm gonna leave it in the fridge for about an hour or 30 minutes just to let it thicken up again. So my batter's all good. My flat top grill is nice and hot. What I wanna do is just cook a small test pancake just to see if the grill is at the right temp. I'm just gonna spray it down with some non-stick spray first. A real small one just to, just to see how the browning of the pancake goes. So you can also cook these uh, pancakes in a non-stick pan if you don't got your own griddle or some kind of flat grill. This, this kind of flat grill just makes it a lot easier to make you know, a, a whole bunch of them at one time. See that the color is pretty good. It's not too dark and it did rise a bit before we flipped it. So that means the grill's on a good temp. You always wanna make a quick tester just to make sure that your pancakes aren't uh, getting cooked at too high heat. If it's too hot, it'll burn before the inside is cooked. So I'm making about four ounce pancakes. It's a four ounce scoop. And the last one's gonna be a little small then. What you could do is put a pineapple slice and a cherry in the middle, and then that'll make it into like a pineapple upside down pancake. You'll know when the pancakes are ready to flip, when the edges of the pancake have started to dry out and you see a lot more bubbles inside of the middle of the pancake. But you know, if you're unsure, just you know, take a quick peek underneath and then that, that'll be good. So I see this one's kind of dark already, so I'm gonna flip this one. See the back of the griddle's a little hotter. You see that they rise up a lot. You'll know that they're pretty much done cooking in the middle when you tap down on them and they spring back. So these are springing back, so they're about done. Just waiting on this last one. See my griddle is a lot hotter on the on the back. And this is the case for a lot of like flat grills. Some, uh, some spots on the, the grill will be hotter than others. So. All right, so I just got a quick grilled pineapple just to throw on top. So pineapple, some cherries. And I usually eat this kind of stuff with some sugar-free syrup just to save on some calories. So let me cut into one of these. So these pancakes are super filling because they got all this fiber from the oatmeal, some from the fruits all this protein from the egg whites and from the protein powder. So it'll really keep you full for a while, help you uh, stay away from eating too many junks. Cause you know, regular pancakes, they're just all flour and sugar. And it's really easy to eat a whole bunch of them because they're so light. 
And these have a lot more nutrients inside, keep you fuller longer, stop snacking on all those junk foods. And you know, there's a lot of good protein in there if you're trying to, you know, build muscle and stay lean. This could be a good option for you. You can always uh, adjust the amount of pineapple or coconut that you like. Um, if you put too much coconut, it really bumps up the calories, so try not to put too much shredded coconut. This recipe gives a real subtle pineapple and a little bit of coconut taste to your pancakes just to try to mix it up, do a little something different. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed, or I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.